All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do all keys lost on this Mercedes S550. This particular one is a 2010 model. So first thing you wanna do is, uh, you could do it OBD or you could uh, remove the AIS. In this case, I'm gonna be removing the electronic ignition switch. And uh, to do that, you will need to remove both side covers. Remove these um, screws here, one to another side and then I believe there is uh, two more here and then this whole thing should come off um, once we remove that then we should be able to access this one over here all right let me remove this and we'll be right back I'm gonna remove this cover here. And then there is one bolt, one screw here, and then this whole thing should come off. So let me take this on off. There's our EIS. You can easily reach it now. So I'm just gonna remove these connectors and take it off. Here we're going to be using IM608 to program this key. So first you want to go to the mobilizer section, accept the terms and condition, Mercedes Benz. So we're going to go to, uh, let's go to manual selection. S-Class 
and we have 6 to 13. Control unit. Yeah, yes. Uh, let's do all keys. Lost fast. And we're going to do on bench G box. And if we look at the EIS, it is. At two sixteen. Let's compare the back of this. So it look like we have this one here. So we just need to connect it to our G box and start the process. And now that we connected everything to the G box. Okay, now let's start the procedure. It's gonna ask me to put a blank key into the XB400. Now it's gonna ask us if we have a password. No, we don't. Let's start the process. Begin. This is the process that takes the longest. You want to make sure you connect your AP um, 102, which is this thing here, into the EIS. enter it again and now the timer begins this stage here might take 15 minutes it might take an hour it might take more we don't know so uh, we'll be back once it's done and once it's done it should give us the password It has been almost an hour and still waiting. Don't know exactly how long this might take, but I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, I had to leave this plugged in overnight and I woke up and uh, the password was successfully pulled up. And then it's asking us to put a blank key inside the XP400 programmer. We have a blank key here. Okay. Okay. Now let's take the, the new key, put it inside the EIS. There you go, the light turned off. I don't know if you've seen that. I said okay. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is the next day. Um, this took three hours on the auto yesterday while I'm still working and driving around and it couldn't pull the password. However, uh, ended up taking it home, leaving my auto on all night, woke up in the morning and I was able to get the password as you guys seen. So now I'm back at the car. What we need to do is connect those two connectors back into the EIS, plug it back in, and um, test it out. And then if it's all good, we could put everything back on. All right, let's test it out. Oh, maybe it's... Ah, the car is dead. 
but uh we'll get a jump box and we'll try again okay, now we have a jump box let's test out the remote yep unlocks unlocks so that's a good sign My jump box is weak, but we know it works because the steering just unlocked and the remote works. This car has a alternator issue, so the battery is completely drained and it need to get towed to a shop. But key is done. Now we'll just have to put everything back together. Okay, let's all click 10. This cover just clicks in place and then we have to do the screw on the other side there you go that's it and then we should be done and that's how you guys do it uh, fairly easy job beside uh, the waiting period to calculate the password that's uh Thing that took the longest okay and now we got the, the trunk lock picked so we're gonna take our rating and cut a emergency blade for this car since it seemed like they've been having a charging issue they're keeping a jump box in here so this should help a lot okay so this is the cut that we got from picking the lock now I'm going to cut the key and test it out. <coughs> See if that works. So let's clean this up. <clears throat> All right, now it's now it's done. Let's test it out and see if it works. That's a success. That's how you do it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video or if you learned something from this video or was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.